reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on multiplication and division. And with me, I've got this problem that is given. It is a long problem. And I want us, or I want to show you whenever you're given such a problem in your exam in N3, that is mathematics N3, how can you go about attempting or answering this kind of a problem? It might look a bit complicated, but trust me, it is one of the simplest ways of solving such a problem. It can contribute about five to six marks in exam. Now let us approach it in parts. The first one that we're given, let's look at this numerator on top here. It says m squared minus 16. If you remember, or if you can go back to the previous lessons, this is a difference of two squares problem in which it is m squared now 16 is 4 squared so this is a difference of two squares whereby you are having m minus 4 and m plus a 4 so this is a difference of two the difference of 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 of, of two squares so it's m minus 4 and it's m plus 4 this is the one that talks about that again I can also look at the top part and try to squeeze in there. If you look at the top part, it says m squared plus 2m. And you can see that m is common. I can factorize m. When I factorize m, I'll remain with m plus 2. Because m into m squared, m will remain. And m into 2m, the m will cancel the m remaining the 2 there. Similarly, if I can come here, and using the same concept, I can have m outside and m into m squared, it will cancel to remain with 1m plus m will cancel the m in the second one remaining with a 4. So these are kind of solutions that you're already having from the top. If we look at the bottom, we don't need to expand this already. It is simply factorized for us because the concept that we're doing here is factorization so with this concept of factorization that's the one we did for the difference of two squares already this has been done for us so we don't need to do anything now the two that are remaining if I can write them down we are given m squared minus 2m minus 8 in this one there are many ways you can solve it, but I've got um, a method which I call the product sum method, which you can check again in the previous videos that I've been explaining in detail the product and sum method. But in this case, if I can do it quickly, there is a one here. If there is no number, the coefficient of m squared, it means there is a one. So I'm multiplying one m squared times minus eight. So I'm going my, I'm getting my product as which is product for p is minus 8m squared and then my sum which is the addition is the center number that one is my sum this is the product so my sum is minus 2m and then I go for the factors of 8 8 is 1 times 8 and 2 times 4 so these are the two factors of 8 so now I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply them, I must get a negative 8. When I add them, I must get a negative 2. So you can see that the two numbers here are the second numbers. That's where I can get a sum of minus 2. Because the sum is negative, the bigger number must be negative, And the smaller number, in this case, which is 2, must be positive. So how do I write it? I've got now m squared minus, instead of 2m, I've got minus 4m plus 2m minus 8. Where am I getting it? Remember, we said 2 and minus 4. So there is minus 4 and 2. So I take out the first m in the first in the first one there. I will have m minus 4 plus 2. I've got m 
minus a 4. So if I can take this a bit up. So what do I have? I have got m minus 4 and I have got m plus 2. So I have solved that. I can do the same thing with the other one, which is m squared plus 8m plus 16. Using the product sum method, I have got m squared plus, now the factors, two numbers which I multiply, I get a 16, and when I add them, I get an 8. In this case, if you can, factors of 16 is 1 and 16. If I can look at factors of 16, it's 1 times 16, is 2 times 8, and is 4 times a 4. So the only numbers that can give me 8, when I add them, you can see is 4 and 4. So I've got 4m plus 4m plus 16. Take out the m outside. I've got m plus 4 plus 4. I have got m plus a 4. So that this is m plus 4 what is inside the bracket and outside the bracket I also get m plus 4. Remember I said if ever you're not understanding the concept of the um, product and sum you can always refer to the previous videos. So now when I have got all this together now what do I do? Now I have to pull it all together as one thing. Now the signs that I'm given here you can see there is a division sign and there is also a multiplication sign. Now, whenever you are given a division sign, you must first change this division sign into a multiplication sign. So the moment you are going to write instead of a division, the moment you are going to change it and make it a multiplication, what will happen is the denominator will go on top and the numerator will go down. If you can remember that. So if you can write that and writing all the solutions that were given, I'll try to write it down here using a different pen. So the M minus 15 we got the M minus 4, if you still remember, it was the M minus 4 and the m plus 4 all over we had the m minus 4 squared i will put a times remember when i say it i'll put a times the m squared minus 2m here this m squared minus 2m minus 8 in which we solved it as this one it will go on top so if it goes on top, it will become m minus 4 and m plus 2 all over. If you still remember how we factorized the top one, it was m into m plus 2. If I can try to squeeze in it is m m plus 2 again we are multiplying with the top because it's already multiplying we don't have to change anything which is m plus 4 all over and then when you factorize it this is the one that we got m plus 4 m plus 4 so you have got m plus 4 it can be m plus 4 squared and m plus 4. Now when we have done this, the next probable thing to do is now to cancel. So now how do you go about cancelling? You cancel what is similar. You can see in the first one we have got m minus 4 and then we have m minus 4 but there is a square. It means we need 2 at the top so I can take another one m minus 4 to cancel the 2 at the bottom and then I need an m plus 4 on top it's also 1 at the bottom I've got another m 
plus 4, which is cancelling the m plus 4. I have the m plus 2, cancelling the m plus 2. I have the m, cancelling the m. So in actual fact, what is the answer here? Because we have cancelled out everything, on top you'll have a 1, and at the bottom you'll have a 1. So the answer in this case is a 1. So whenever you are dividing or whatever you are dividing from the whole problem that we are given, this algebraic or fractions, everything simplifies to become a 1. So now this is how you can approach this kind of a problem. Now we've come to the end of our lesson. Join us again when we look at more complicated problems of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Thank you. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. I reach out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion.